let's discuss a few additional page background elements that we can configure. I will start with watermarks. A watermark is text or an image that appears behind the content of a document. A common watermark used in documents is a draft watermark. It lets others know that the document has not been finalized. If I select watermark in the page background group on the design tab, we have different watermarks. We have confidential watermarks, urgent watermarks, or we can create a custom watermark. I'll select custom watermark. Here we can add a picture as our watermark or add our own text. I will select the text watermark option and type draft in all caps in the text field. I'll accept the other defaults and select the OK button. Next to watermarks, we have page color. Just as the name implies, this allows us to change the color of our pages to give a more artistic feel to the document. Let's take a look at how this looks. As I hover my mouse over the colors, we can preview them. I will select the blue Accent 1 Lighter 80% color. I will customize this color to match other page colors we commonly use. I will select page color again, and this time select more colors. I'm going to remove this hex color and type pound sign EDF2F9. I'll select the OK button to add the custom color to our document. Hex is short for hexadecimal. A hex color code determines how much red, green, and blue is present in a particular shade of color. It is regularly used to keep colors uniform throughout documents. You should know that the page color will not be printed when you are changing the page color. It is only visible when viewed digitally. If you have a document linked to your website, this may be an instance where you would use a page color. The final page element we will talk about in this lesson is page borders. These are decorative lines or art that can be added to the border of the pages in a document. I'll select page borders to open the borders and shading dialog box. Another way to open this dialog box is by selecting the borders drop down arrow from the paragraph group on the home tab and then selecting borders and shading. From this dialog box, I will open the page border tab. We are able to select a border style, color, and the width of the border. I will select this three line border and change the border width to three fourths point. We will add the border to our whole document. I will select the OK button.